In the Elder Scrolls universe, magic, enchantment, and alchemy are no oddity. Ever since Akatosh made Nern, every race on the planet has been embarking on violent conquests and quests for glory. In these circumstances, there is high demand for weapons. And if the weapons are enchanted, everything gets even better. So, we'll look at the special weapons that we can find in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The Imperial Province of Skyrim is a cold and tough land with violence just around the corner. Players are constantly on the hunt for special weapons to help them survive. Some of these special weapons are gifted to players by Jarls and Nobles, whilst others can be stolen off from dead enemies as loot. Some are even lying around in ancient ruins. Often, these weapons have special abilities due to enchantments, blessings, and curses, but certain weapons can even be awarded by Daedric Princes as remuneration for tasks done in their service. The first special weapon that most players typically come across in Skyrim is the Axe of Whiterun. Awarded to the players by Jarl Balgruf, the Greater of Whiterun, this weapon is a signature of the Office of Thane. As players progress through the initial phases of the main quest, they end up earning the title of Thane of Whiterun, for which the Jarl gives them this legendary weapon. This is just one of the several weapons that players get upon becoming Thane, with each hold offering their own signature weapon to the Office Bearer. Players also have the option to craft special weapons of their own throughout the game. Players can do this using arcane enchanters that are available in their homes or dispersed throughout random locations in the game. It can be done by bringing the weapon to the arcane enchantment along with a number of soul gems, and instructions can be followed to achieve the desired enchantment. Alternatively, enchanted weapons are also scattered throughout the game and can be found as loot inside chests. They are also commonly wielded by medium-level enemies such as bandit chiefs and draugrs. Sometimes, NPCs that are an important part of side quests or even the main storyline carry special weapons as their primary arsenal. For example, Alessandra's Dagger. The weapon is owned by Alessandra in Riften and is seemingly the same as a normal dagger. However, it is a quest item and stays in the player's inventory. Therefore, it can even be retained if the Dragonborn finds themselves in prison. It also has additional damage thanks to enchantment properties, but once the power runs out, you need to recharge it, just as the case is with every special weapon inside the game. And finally, we have Daedric weapons. These are also found in quests, albeit are unique to quests that include tasks related to Daedra. These weapons are typically more powerful as they are usually made of stronger elements that deal more melee damage. They're also superior in enchantment and have higher capacity when it comes to expanding their special abilities. For example, the Blade of Sacrifice, which is yielded by most Bothia followers in the quest Bothia's Calling. Now, there are a lot of special weapons in Skyrim and they have a variety of abilities, from doing fire damage to staggering their opponents or simply causing them to flee thanks to fear damage. The strength of these abilities varies depending on the degree of the weapon's power. It might be hard to put all these into an accurate listing as to what is the strongest, so let us just talk about a few. For starters, we have the Mace of Molog Ball, which, as the name suggests, is awarded to players by Molag Ball upon completing the House of Horrors. It is made from ebony and does significant damage on its own. On top of that, it also does 25 points of stamina and magic damage. Then we have Ariel's Bow doing 20 points of sun damage. There is also the Drain Blonde Battle Axe that does 21 base damage with an added 15 points of health absorption. There are countless other special weapons, but this should give you an idea of what we're talking about. The Elder Scrolls Wikia is filled with seemingly infinite information on these weapons, if you're still curious. So that's all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.